In Wicca, the horned god is the love interest of the goddess. And he is one of the two who created the world. So I know him as Pan and believe him to be Jesus' his father. I got that statue off of eBay. Then just here I have a white LED candle which I use that for my spell work and then I have a green candle here which I've been using for spell work. Next we have a gold candle with snowflake designs on it. The actual candle is white but the candle holder is gold and it represents the God because in Wicca we believe that the God bring forth, brings forth the sun and the sun represents fire and the masculine power. And I also used this for spell work. Then I have this statue of Thor. And here's a deity that you can work with at Mabon. I especially like the Greek and Norse pantheons because those pantheons are my jam. Then I have this pendulum here. It's actually a pendulum necklace but I put it here for my barn and I use it for scrying and divination. Then I have these leaves which I collected from just outside my house and they are to represent my barn and the changing of the seasons. You can also use sage at my barn so I have a stick of sage here for that reason and I've also used it for a spell I was doing. Then I have a chalice here which was for Sawin or Samhain. It is a black one with skeleton hands going up it like clawing it. It was meant for Sawin, but I kept it because I needed a chalice for my altar. I have a pine cone here to represent the god, and a little pile of green sugar on the sugar rack, because we're going to have a green corn made with our corn cone last year, and because I don't Here we have a pine cone to represent my barn and a My Little Pony figure of Applejack. You're meant to have apples on your altar at this time of year. But seeing as I don't have any actual apples, I used Applejack. Then I have this little travel altar with a pentagram on it. 